Happy Saturday, my quirky kissy kills. Quick question. Does Brian look like a palmy? I think they've got a lot of similar tendencies. They got like the little man bun up here. I, I don't know why. They just look similar to me. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but I don't think I am. Anyway, it's we're back. It's the smile. Yeah, okay, I see it. Anyway, we're back with a really unconventional style of deck profile today because Worlds is happening right now and we are streaming Worlds. Links in the description box down below, twitch.tv slash crush cards. Come join us. We're going to be doing lots of giveaways, lots of fun stuff, lots of chaos, and we're going to see who the next World Championship is. And speaking of live, we are doing a live twin deck profile today. I think this is one of those formats where you don't necessarily need to play like one of three decks to win. I think it's a very heavy hand trap format, and I think the Live Twin Sprite deck is just one of the best decks that you can cram a bunch of hand traps in. It's got a lot of follow-up, a lot of recovery, a lot of interaction, and it is relatively budget friendly. There are some cards in this deck that you can swap out. We will talk about those, but I do think for the better part of this format, this is just a really solid deck choice. So I just want to showcase exactly how I'm playing it for the format. And for anyone who's new here, Brian does have a lot of merit with the deck. He's been grinding with it since day one of Genesis Impact release with the Live Twins. He has been on this deck forever. He is a true Live Twin Andy, so I trust him with my life on all of this. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video, and comment what you are playing this format and who you want to see win Worlds. And speaking of that, let's have Brian get in his wonderful deck with world champion Patchery Sue. Yeah, I mean, go Patchy, that's my son. I mean the live tunes. Anyway. Speaking of, before we get into live tunes, let's talk about these beautiful babies. Oh my God, look, we just recently put out new merch. It's the live twins and the pearlies. Look at this. You could have gotten this cute bundle together, but we unfortunately are sold out of the bundles. You can still grab Kiss of Kills. Lila's are all sold out. But if you don't ever want to miss any of these exclusive merch shops, which spoiler, all winter long and fall, we're going to be pumping out new merch. So make sure you check out viral.store. Links in the description box down below. Subscribe to the emails and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you just don't miss out on this stuff because the drops are limited and I want you to have cool new stuff baby but with that being said let's talk about some shiny cardboard shall we yeah baby uh speaking of shiny cardboard one of my favorite pieces of shiny cardboard of all time is triple copies of live twin lila this is the best normal summon in the deck which is why we are playing three of it as opposed to the double copies of our live twin kiss a kill now this is a little different from the profile I put up a couple months ago. I think playing double copies of Kiss a Kill is probably correct, and I'll showcase that in a second. Obviously, on normal or special summon, either of these guys get you the other copy of themselves. Lilas can get any Kiss a Kills. Kiss a Kills can get any Lilas. Keep that in mind. And that's only if you control no monsters when that happens. So you, you can't really play things like Bestials or Fenrir in this deck, which is a little unfortunate because I really wanted to, but we've made up for that. Lila can get you access to the copy of our Kiss Frost. a Kill Frost. Mm. Whenever a card is added from your opponent's deck to their hand, you can just banish this from the graveyard and then draw one card. It's good to note that that's not only on your opponent's turn, it's just whenever they add. So if they do it on your turn, you can also do that. The reason I am playing three, two, one is because I am also now playing the one copy oh. of the evil twin Ly or the live twin Lila tree. I think this card moving forward for me is probably going to be mandatory. I've been testing it a lot. And the reason I like both of these is because, as I said, obviously these can get you like any of your kiss a kills and then the kiss a kill can get you any of your Lila's. But these are effectively boneless sprites. And the reason is because we are playing triple copies of our live twin Sunny Snitch. This isn't really anything new, but there's a ton of times where I've opened this card with this card or this card in combination with this card or just like, you know, this with this, whatever. You don't have enough starters or enough extenders. And I think playing the copy of the tree really does open up a whole different line because if your live twins get interacted with, which spoiler alert, they're gonna a lot of the times, this gets you the other copy a lot and you can just get your sprite cards through your gigantic. You don't have to go through your gigantic line and just get one card. You can get like four because like blue grabs jet, jet grabs starter, starter grabs carrot, such like that. So I think having the Lila tree and the Kiss of Kill Frost are just really good extenders in this deck. And I think moving forward, this is like the 10, card live twin mm -hmm. engine that I will probably be playing. I have literally summoned this card so many times. It has come up so many times. And if you haven't tested with it, I would highly recommend it. It's like, it's really, really crazy. It's, it's speaking of crazy, it's Palmy. Palmy is electric. You know what else is electric? Mm -hmm. Triple copies of our Whoa. Thunder Sprite Blue. Triple copies of our Sprite Jet. One copy of Red one copy of carrot some people are playing double red double carrot yeah. uh, this deck is at a clean 40. i think it's just the most consistent way to play the deck you really want to see engine and you want to see non-engine you want to see a good mix of both of them so i didn't really want to go over 40. i think you can play double copies of carrot if you want and maybe cut like a hand trap down to two or cut mm. some of your non-engine down to two but having one know, in, yeah, yeah having one in one the is ratio. Been fine. like if it ain't broke don't fix it mm -hmm. and most of the time like i'm summoning carrot because i think there's a ton of power yeah. 
yeah. spells in the format. And people are main decking evenly again. Exactly. Uh, and then obviously uh, spells, we're playing the one copy of the Smasher. Shout out to the obviously. new Ultra Rare. Woo! And the double copies of Starter. Because that's all you can play. 99% uh, of the time, I'm going for Starter instead because we are playing something in the extra deck that allows us to grab this back. Ooh. So we get additional <laughs> Follow up, and I, I don't know. I just I really like starter in this deck. Yeah, I really me. like my Yitelli. <laughs> I guess what I was trying to say is with starter at two, for some reason I feel like I open it or see it more. It's me with Unicorn. I yeah. play Cash. Spoiler, boo! I know I'm the worst. I'm sorry. I swear I'm playing other decks too. But like, I swear I see Unicorn no, ma yeah, now see more. more now. Jesus, that was hard to say. <laughs> that is it too. That's yeah. all. I'm sorry. I'll stop talking. So that's no. That's 21 engine cards, uh, live twins, sprite cards, etc. Pretty self-explanatory, except for the one copy of Treat. Moving into the non-engine now, uh, which is. Really where this deck shines literally insane uh, we're playing triple copies of triple tactics talent man this like this card literally just says have you read a pointer of the red lotus yeah. you have have you palmy have you oh you can't read that sucks you're <laughs> yugi oh my god you must be a player. player crazy uh, yeah, Triple Tactics is just insane. I think uh, the reason I chose to play this card right now is because Droll is a mainstay in the main deck right now. And your live twin engine, just, you know, you don't really need to draw a ton of cards. Mm -hmm. You can, you, you forego like the kiss a kill draw. But as long as you get that one add off your sprite cards, when your opponent trolls you, you can just talent. Hand rip them. Look at their hand, hand rip them. And then setting up like the carrot with like a smashers and then the live twin pop plus the double draw on their Pretty turn. Nice. That's basically an FTK. Uh, I honestly, as much as I love this card, I don't know if there's a world where I see this card staying at three yeah. forever. And that being said, it's also maybe not the most budget friendly card. So if you don't have something like Triple Tactics Talent, I'm playing it in the side deck. Uh, we're not going to go over the entire side deck, but I think something you can play is something like Book of Moons. True. It's a great card Book going first. Book of Moons first. in a lot of main decks this great format. Great card. I'm playing it in Pearly. Literally it's main decking it in Pearly. It's a great card going first, great card going second. It's a great sixth card as mm -hmm. well on the draw. It's just a really good, like, interactive card. And uh, if you yeah. don't have Triple Tactics, I would highly recommend Book of Moon yeah, this well. isn't like mandatory. This is it really just these kind of come down to personal preference. This mm -hmm. is just a really good card and feels really nice to take a card out of your opponent's hand. Obviously, you can play pretty much any other power spell. And like spoiler, we're also playing Zeus in the extra deck too. Um, it, you can just like take something from your opponent, especially like if they're playing an Xyz deck. Mm -hmm. You can attack, you can make Zeus with it too. So I just think it's really, really cool. And speaking of uh, hand cards, hand traps are a thing. So we are playing the one copy of Call by the Grave. Uh, yes. uh, big fan of this card. I do think it should still be banned. Uh, so anyone, any OG fans. I'm sorry, did you just say big fan of this card and proceed to say it should be banned? Yeah, no, I agree. I'd, like this card is broken. Like this card is literally broken. I think this card, it, it just, it answers so much. It is a negate for two turns of a card in the graveyard. So be mindful of that. A lot of people like called by Ash and then try to Ash forget, as well. Yeah, yeah literally. Uh, this card is insane. It's ban worthy. Let's say that. I think called by is a ban worthy. No, card. comment below. Do you think call by is ban worthy or no? Please don't flame us. It's it's just an opinion. Yeah, it's just a hot take. Uh, and speaking of hot takes, one of the hot takes that I like is in the main deck, not in the side deck, triple copies of Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Shout out to the branded Andy. Hey, this is really good against branded. Uh, Vanquish Soul still seeing a lot of play. Shout out to Logan for playing Vanquish Soul all the time. Hi, it's me. Uh, you can Vanquish Soul obviously gets hit really hard by this card as well. I mean, Dragon Link is in the format, but the real reason we are playing this copy of Go or three copies of Ghost Bell in the Lady. main deck is Labyrinth. That deck is just so so terrifying it's a very frustrating matchup all of the labyrinth cards are really really powerful once that deck snowballs it's really hard to beat i think the best way to try to stop that deck is from getting the engine and just yes. like not letting it go online yeah so don't Bell, let those welcomes resolve we shut the door on the wall no welcome Bell's not really welcome. good and then we're playing triple copies of ash too yeah these are like the six cards against labyrinth that you really want to play uh, i think it's just like ash is also just like the most generic card right you don't really want to yeah i mean Ash, you can't go wrong with that cute little forehead and then speaking of ash uh, and searching we are playing triple copies of Droll in the main hate deck. Hate droll formats. Hate them. Don't love them. I absolutely hate it when this card is in the main deck. I understand that it is a frustrating card, but I do think with like the hot red dragon arch calamity theme, guy, King calamity. Like if the, if the name calamities is somewhere in your deck list, I, I really do feel like droll is one of those cards, right? Like VFD with King Calamity, what like that card was banned. The arch fiend calamity. I just think droll stops a lot of those combo decks that play that and try to skip your mm -hmm. turn. So it is an equalizer, as Logan said. It's not the most fair card, yeah. but it is something that is kind of a necessary it's evil, also kind so. of frustrating because you can't use this card when shifter's live and unfortunately shifter is still in the format yep. so like it's frustrating because it either like hits or you can't use it at all and it's like kind of dead in your hand it's it's just a frustrating card because it's not perfect it's 
not, it doesn't, it's just an yeah. old hand trap. Yeah, it, I mean, it's a great hand trap too. And like, worst comes to worst, if you don't want to play Droll in the main deck, feel free. Uh, I'm siding DD Crow up once again. Yeah, there's just, six cards yeah, in the side deck. Just pick any other hand trap. Bam, uh, DD Crow's really Speaking good of too. other hand traps. Other hand traps, we're playing triple copies of Effect Veiler and triple copies of Infinite Imperm. Wow, literally every hand trap. Yeah, Imperm's literally just like a really crazy good card. And then I think these, I wanted to play cards that you could draw from your Kiss and Kill of draws course. and your Frost draws on your opponent's turn and have them be live cards. I know a lot of people are playing uh, like Thrust, they're playing like, like Dark breakers. Ruler. Yeah, they're like, and the board breakers are fine, but I think in the live twin variant in particular, where you are drawing so many cards, you draw like, you know, one card on your turn, two cards on your mm -hmm. opponent's you turn. You want to see cards you can immediately read. Yeah, you, you just want to have active cards all the time. You want to have that interruption. So yeah. this is the main deck. It's 15 hand traps, super consistent, 40 cards on the dot. And uh, that being said, let's move into the extra deck. Should go without saying, we're playing the one copy of Zeus, the one copy Ooh, of Down wow. and the one copy of our oh, Sky Calvary. Wow, three copies of Zeus. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, the one copy of Sky Calvary, I think, is probably the better card in Twins. I know a lot of people are playing the Mosquito in live Twin Sprite because your twin cards are so small. I am not a fan of playing the Mosquito. A lot of people comment and ask about that. I think the Sky Calv is just personally better. I it's like 2K, Cal. it bounces, it gets rid of things like Mirror Jade so it doesn't trigger. It forces interaction Yeah, too. it's just a really good card. And then honestly, sometimes it's just a threat, right? Like as Logan said, mm -hmm. it forces things. So even if you're not gonna get to Zeus, you put this on the board, your mm -hmm. opponent has to answer this. So speaking of Xyz cards, uh, we're playing the double copies of Tiny Hands. Tiny Hands. Tiny hands. Tiny hands. <laughs> this card is just insane. Uh, Gigantic is literally probably one of the best level two rank twos ever printed. Well, of course. It's one of the best sprite cards Rip of all time. Rip elf, my yeah. homie. It's literally like the best live twin card, honestly. Like being able to get the additional copy of a uh, like a live twin out of your deck if your opponent does interact with you and you didn't open the extender. And then th there's this is like a card that I don't think a lot of people are playing in live twin sprite, but this is a live twin card. This is live twin sprite spring. <laughs> Uh, the reason you play this is because if you don't open any live twins at all, and mm. you're playing 10, I know, it's crazy. But if you open any a combination of like two sprite cards, you literally just make sprint, dump a live twin, and then you can overlay for gigantic and then get the other one out, Whoa. make the live twin combo, and then summon the you're one that you sent You're popping off, back. King, popping off. I'm a big fan of sprint. I know a lot of people aren't playing it, but I think sprint, sprint is insane. I think it's just really good to help yeah. you get your engine rolling. Live twin, sprite, sprint, keep that in mind. Uh, one copy of IP. Of course. This is, uh, you know, I'm just gonna, I guess well, this is the last card, but we're playing this combo this combo is insane this is the card that you can activate to get your starter back because 99 mm. of the time you're gonna have something like i don't know a kiss a kill co-linked to it which means that you can then draw one card as well mm. and also set a spell by discarding so you can set your starter back draw a card this can bring back and pop so i, I don't know I, I think the griffin line is absolutely insane and it's a fiend it also. is a fiend and the, the floodgate effect is really crazy i mean yeah and, and people then, don't remember what griffin does they're like okay I'm gonna play and it's like, no, you're not. And speaking of fiends, we are playing the one copy of Muckraker. Look at that lady. This is just a, another copy of any of your evil twin links. The evil twins are fiends. This can target a fiend monster and then summon mm -hmm. it back and then discard. Keep in mind, the discard is part of the effect. You don't target and then discard for cost because if it doesn't resolve, you get that card. That card mm -hmm. stays yeah, in your don't, hand. Yeah, don't just go pitching cards. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's basically a dark world card. Yeah, um, speaking of the dark world. We are updating Dark World in probably like 48 hours. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure you stay tuned for that because that deck is insane with the brand new support. Live Twin cards, we're playing triple copies of the mm -hmm. Evil Twin Kiss a Kill, double copies of the Evil Twin Lila, and then the one copy of the Evil Twin Trouble Sunny. A lot of people play two and two. I'm a fan of three. It does yeah. come up in the grind game a lot. And uh, if you are playing something like Cash, it's unfortunate Cash is still in the format. Mm -hmm. They're going to rip this or they're Yoinky. going to rip this. Oh, and oh, by the time. Oh, or yeah, or Zeus. So like once they figure it out and they realize that you need your live twin engine, they're gonna start ripping your live twin cards. Mm -hmm. If you can't get to like, if they can stop Zeus, they're gonna go straight for the live twin card. So yeah. I'd rather have three. Uh, good to note too for Muckraker, when you summon it and you use the effect, you cannot use it for link material that turn. So mm -hmm. keep it in mind, it has to stay on the board. It's but like that's elf. it. Yeah, 15 card extra deck. I think this is probably the cleanest list I've played. It is probably the list I've seen the most success with. And let us know in the comment section down below if you like. But yeah, this is Brian's baby. He loves this deck. He's been labbing it since day one and he's seen a lot of success with it. So make sure you thank Brian guy in the comments. He's constantly trying to innovate it for all of you and keep it hot and fresh for you. So make sure you like the pizza that he's cooking up for you. But with all that being said, team, make sure you come check out the world stream. Links are in the description box down below. As we said, make sure you stay tuned for Danger Dark World on Monday. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. We just wanted to drop some hot new sauce on you. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We love you. You matter. And Pommy's gonna say bye. Bye, Pommy. Bye. Come watch Worlds. We're having fun. Don't be lonely. See y'all.